what we have here is another keyboard mount. We're going to get started on installing <laughs> all of this right now. Are you fired up, bro? So, we're all ready to do, start our install. We have our template here. We're gonna wanna fold. We're gonna wanna fold down the template. We need a half of an inch from the front of our, our top, a half an inch space here. That will move the bracket back a half of an inch from the edge of your, of your workspace, okay? So we're gonna fold this over and then we're gonna tape it to the underside. We have 69 and a half inches. That's uh, 34 and a half plus a quarter. 34 and three quarters. 34 and three quarters. 34 and three quarters. So we're gonna be like right here to the center of this. I know you guys love it. We're gonna do an on, we're gonna do a review about this in the near future. <clears throat> okay. Put our template up. And the template's pretty explanatory. It tells you what size drill bits to use. A lot of good info. You're gonna need it. So don't throw it away. We're ready to drill <clears throat> our pilot holes. If you want to show them how the, uh, the template is, is taped up under there, that wouldn't be a horrible thing. So we're going to be using our eighth inch bit. Luckily I have one in this kit because the drill bits are all over the place. It shows you on the template where, where you're going to be drilling. So we're going to get down under here on our back. Pilot hole here, pilot hole here. Left, right. Boom. Just enough to get the screw started. You be very mindful when you're drilling up towards the, the, the surface. You don't want to poke through. The, the top. Let's slide this baby out. Okay. Store it face up because it's greased. You don't want the grease to come off. And we could take our template off at this point. We have our pilot holes already drilled. Okay. And when you install this bracket, you're going to want these rubber, these rubber stops towards the back. That will keep it from that, that will keep the trolley from smashing into hard metal. Okay, so that goes towards the back. Okay, let's see where we're, where we're supposed to be lined up. You would think that I never did this before, but I just can't remember. We do so much, I, I just can't remember how I installed it last time because I actually didn't install this before. So we're going to just drive our screws. Now, we have two screws installed. That will allow for us to, if we, that's okay, I'm gonna be dirty the whole, the whole time. So that will allow for us, if we need to, to pop this off, resituate it, if you can see it's, it's, it's key mod, there's key mod holes there underneath where the screws are in. We can pop this off, put it on. If we're good with that location, then we'll just continue the process and put the rest of the screws in. We'll be back in a sec. Okay, we're happy. I'm on my back here. We're happy with the location of our mount. We're going to drill a few more pilot holes and then we're going to drive the rest of the screws. One, two, three, four. It calls for an additional, additional four screws. So you have two screws to start the installation, to slide your mount on, and then four more additional screws are the minimum. You're going to want to snug your screws up. You don't want to keep spinning them in their hole because it will blow out the hole and it will make the screw ineffective, ineffective for holding the mount up. So snugged up and that's it. Our wheel is mounted. You want to take a look at that, Nick. Let the viewers see it. So that's seven screws total. We then get our trolley. We slide our trolley onto its track. 
we're going to adjust that down. And then what we want to do is we want to install this plastic stop. It goes here at the edge, okay? Once we have that in place, it comes with two of these black screws. We'll slide this back. We'll snug it up. And that baby's installed. Boom. So stop there. Stop there. We're all good to go. We're ready to move on. Viewers, if I move too quick, let me know in the comment section below. Okay, next step. Ships in a separate box. Well, it's, it's not shipped in a separate box, but it comes wrapped separately. Is the actual keyboard mount. This should actually have its own set of instructions. This is a nice wrist rest. This is very comfortable. This is the keyboard tray. This is the mouse, mouse uh, pad. Here's our set of instructions. So what you're gonna wanna do is, ooh, this might be fancier than Nick's. All right. As you can see, here's our hardware. There's some nice cord stays in here. There is some command strips, allow for easy removal of these, of these wire tamers. And uh, there's some more in here. This is, this is double-sided tape. So, let's finish this on, on, unwrapping this. Here's your instructions, step by step. This is a great product. I mean, it's just a great, great product. I really, really enjoy this. That's why we bought two of them. You're gonna need a drill, drill bit. You're gonna need a number two tip, a drill bit, a screwdriver, and a pencil. Okay, so we're ready to mount our our keyboard rest we have four screws screw holes here comes with four screws all we're going to do is we're going to mount this we're going to put this here we're going to align our screws and our screw holes and I want to test before I screw it in make sure that when it goes back it's all the way under but not too far under that we can't grab it. So what we're going to do is we're going to move it to the outermost set of holes. I suggest starting your screws by hand because you don't want to cross thread them. And to do that, we're going to want to get a screwdriver. Okay, so we have our screwdriver. We want to just start these screws by hand. One in, number two, number three, number four. You just want to make sure you're snugged up. You don't need to tighten them down unbelievably tight. Boom, snug, snug. So now we have our tray in place, pretty cool. Next step is to install our mouse rest. This mouse pad, okay, this mouse rest has two rails. This trolley slides into those rails and you're gonna hear a positive click. Hear it? Mm -hmm. Boom, it's in place. So it won't slide off either way now. It could if you force it, but it should have positive stops. So are you, are you seeing that? Let's see here. Left, right. If you are a lefty, you can install it on this side. We're, we're righty, I'm a righty. So we're gonna slide this off now. We're gonna install it the other side. We then slide this into the keyboard rest. At this point, all we have left to do is put our wrist rest in place. So all we're gonna do is pull the backing off this wrist rest. My favorite part about double-sided tape is getting the back edge off, the back the side off. It's always a pain, so we just lift it up. Get it in the proper spot. And drop it down. That baby's nice and secure now. Now, all that's left is to install <coughs> our keyboard wrist rest. Okay? Pretty much gonna be installed like this. It gives a stop. It gives a stop for the keyboard as well. Plus, it's nice to rest your wrist here. We're gonna pull off 
the backing. That one went pretty well. Should never be too secure. Oh, came up pretty easy. No need for the knife. Hold it up. Boom, done. And that's it. Good part about this keyboard platform is that it will actually adjust, it'll articulate left to right as well. I think it's a pretty, sol pretty solid solution. And in case you're interested, it's 3M KP200LE adjustable keyboard platform. You know, give it a look on Amazon. This is where we picked it up. And uh, you can see it's fairly simple to install. Not many tools are required. So let us know what you think of it. If you like this video, give it a like, comment, and subscribe. If you dislike this video, you probably don't like the idea of an organized office or workstation. And I don't know why you wouldn't. Leave your comment down below why you want everything in disarray. And as always, thanks a lot and have a great day.